previously on The Hunter Call of the Wild. We had a mission to go check out Hope's camp for him. On the way, we spotted a black bear and a coyote. So we tried numerous attempts of calling in the coyote where he was right directly behind us and even once where he got up right on us. We then came across a black bear after the coyote had dragged us right into him during our tracking. We got a perfect shot on that black bear, reeling in a big prize for the episode to kick it off. Right after that, we successfully stalked a moose, hitting it with a perfect shot while laying on the ground right in the lung. And while going to gather the moose, we were also able to get a shot off on a white-tailed deer, claiming both of those prizes with perfect shots, making it a hell of an episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to APN Gaming, and we are here back on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and yes, it is nighttime, and that is good because our couple of missions that we have, let's take a look at those, we gotta travel to Lake Chila and harvest a white-tailed deer or a black-tailed deer at night. We also have another one here that's find three footprints from three different black-tailed deer. So we might be able to potentially do both of these at the same time. So Chila on our map is up over here, not too far away. So we're gonna try to get into there and do that. Now, what time is it? Okay, so we still got plenty of nighttime left to be able to do both of these. Um, last episode, Somehow we determined that we have the 270 unlocked, even though I never purchased it. And by reading on here, it says this premium engraved variation of the 270 Huntsman was unlocked by the community by players for participating in the 2017 holiday event. I don't know what that's all about. I don't remember doing any of that, but apparently I must have. So we got the 270 and we got the Ranger 243. Now there's a couple of different things, uh, let me just check here. We did not have polymer rounds, I don't believe. No, so we have soft points on both the 270 and the 243. So one thing that we're going to do is in our store, we are going to get some polymer tip 243. Those are going to offer us much more suspension, double the suspension from what we have with our free soft point bullets. The soft points are still going to be good for small game, uh, like even coyotes and stuff like that. Not so good for for anything else. So let me take a look here. The 270. Okay. Yeah, so the 270 is good for bigger game. We don't have the polymer tips for those yet, just the soft points, but that's okay. We don't need them. Um, I mean, it's always good to have them, but we don't really, like, need them. So we bought some polymer tips. Let's go in here. We want to 243 polymer tips. We're going to leave the soft points in just in case, in case we don't want to waste the polymer tips. Because we do have to spend money for polymer tips. We don't for soft points, and we have, like, 40 of them. Um, we're going to keep our bleak collar. We're going to get rid of our predator one. Even though we could probably get some extra kills if we had it. If we wanted to kill coyotes. but So we're going to stick with just those two guns, I think. The 243 and the 270 for now. We have a 30 out 6 We definitely don't really need that for deer hunting. I mean, it's, it's great. I do use it on my other account, but we don't really need it. And we're going to pick up a tree stand. We have those from DLC. And we're going to use those. And you know what else, if we can, actually, you know what we might do. We might, ooh, this one's, this is difficult. This is really difficult. I'm debating on dropping one of these guns. Either the 243 or the 270. Oh, this is tough. I think I might actually drop the 270 here 
And instead, we might grab one of these. Now, what's the diff differences? Okay, accuracy is not as good. Reload speed's not as good there, but it is better here. Recoil. Recoil. Hip shot. Peak draw weight is 70 pounds. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I don't think we have any arrows, so we're going to have to back out and grab some bigger game arrows. So we go in here. These are small point bolts. We need some broadhead bolts. These are going to help us with deer. So the advantage to this, I don't think we'll need any more than 10 right now. The advantage to this is if we do have one, we're not going to drive deer so far out because of the sound of a gunshot. So basically we have a rifle now and we have a bolt. So, or I mean a crossbow. So basically now we can kind of silently or semi-silently take out deer with this crossbow with our arrows. We have our polymer tip and our standard soft point bullets to go and our big 200, uh, 420 grain, you know, bolts for the crossbow. Still have our deer call, still have this, oh, wait. Uh, I need the scope for, sorry, this takes so long, but making sure we have everything. That's our crossbow scope. Doesn't cost anything because it came with DLC. So let's put that on. We're going to need that sight for our crossbow. So we'll put that over. Still have our deer bleat. And we are carrying a tree stand. This is going to help us get up in some of these other spots. So now we got to go into our inventory here and equip our weapons. So we got the Ranger 243. We got a crossbow now that we're going equipped with. We're going to put our polymer tips on here just in case. I don't want to forget them. And our arrows here. Sights. We already have the rifle scope there. And now we have that. Lures. We still have our deer bleat. Uh, we still have our scent eliminator. We can actually take this. We'll move this up here. Equipment. Yep. Simple. We still have our binocs on. And we're going to put our tree stand down here. So we're all equipped with all of our gear right now. And now we need to go to Chila. There we go. If it wasn't quite so far, I would go without it. But it is quite a ways. So we're going to try not to kill ourselves on this. And hopefully it's not too loud. So let's get there. Or just outside of Chila. And then we'll walk in and see if we can do our two missions and try to get both of them done at the same time. You know, I oh spotted some tracks earlier, close to where you're at right now. I'll send the coordinates. Alright, so we got to one of these lore places. Survival list, note by our hope. Cutting tool, cover, flint steel, rope, container, awareness, and curiosity. Okay. Well, there's some more lower unlocked. We might as well have got that on the way. Now let's keep motoring. Okay, so we are a little less than 200 yards, I mean a little less than 300 yards out. And this is why, Blacktail Deer just dropped that. Alright, so I think we're in the right district. Let's just... I want to track this. 
harvest a white tail or black tail deer at night. So I want to make sure that we're inside the area and we are. So let's put our tree stand. Can we attach that to this tree? Yes. Okay, we'll enter that. There we go. So we're gonna turn off our light and we're gonna call one in. So we maintained our position in the tree stand for a while, trying to call something in. Of course, in the dark of night and not being a huge popular deer area around this lake, we weren't having much luck. I was constantly trying to view and see if I could spot anything in the area. We're just on the edge of Chila Lake around the location where we need to be to drop this deer in order to complete the mission. So with numerous callings, with trying to just get a deer to come into our location to be able to drop it and gather it for our mission, we just were having no luck at all. All right, guys, so we've been sitting up in this tree stand for a while now, just calling without any luck. So we're going to keep moving, and we're going to move down towards this lake, which would be that way. Because I'm wondering if maybe, instead of trying to call one in, we might be able to find one down at the lake. If I can get a good vantage point from this hill looking down over, I think that's going to benefit us the best. Oh my god. That's another collectible. I swear I never knew these existed until playing by myself one day and I've came across one. Off of recording. And then last recording we found one. And now we're finding another one on this recording. This is not even planned. There, there's an XP reward. All right, so these are the black tail tracks that we already found. Let's kind of keep following these. First, let's see what how fresh the scat is. Very old, okay. That's okay, because let's see where these lead and we might be able to kind of narrow down the location for some black tail. I figured we'd definitely see some around the water, but, oh, that's a black tail right there. Oh, let's call that back in. Let's get up to this edge. If there's one, there's two. It's right straight ahead somewhere. I have to call it to get it to come in a little closer. It's still right here. downwind from us in a second though. Tagged it in good shape. I don't know how good we got it. I'm hoping that dropped it. You can kind of see it off in the distance a little bit. I don't think it's going to go too far. Let's take a look and see if that's blood that didn't get a very good blood spot. I thought I shot it right below here. Maybe it was over here a little bit further. Oh, that's poop. Oh, that's blood. No organs hit. But if I hit it that one time, I'm pretty sure I hit it the other time. Wow, 
Why are these tracks facing the opposite way? I just watched it run over here. I bet these are old tracks. Yeah, this is where I clocked it again. Or at least I think I did. I truly think it'll be down right up here because after hitting it twice, even if I didn't get it in a very good spot, it shouldn't go very far. Especially being just a trivial deer. This is a black tail, so this will count for one of our missions to harvest one. I just need to make sure that I'm tracking it the right way. Yeah, there is blood here, so still the right direction. That's very old f poop from the first time it came through. It's literally double stepping over everywhere where it's already been. That can make it very difficult to track. There's run here, so... And that's going in the right direction. Is this fresh? Nope, very old. So that's its previous. Looks like... i to make sure I follow the right tracks here. This one's trot. This blood. Yep. Ah, uh, there she is. Got her. Yeah, just a flesh wound. Two flesh wounds. We're not going to save that. We're just going to do it. So we got the new mission, or a mission done, and we got a new one now. Wait, did we finish it? Hold on, oh, clicked the wrong one. Okay, yep, so we did finish that one. This is harvest an animal down at at least 82 yards away, away in Belmont Lake. Okay, so we still need to find one more black tail and track that. Okay, so we need to go back to Belmont. We don't have to do anything else here in Chila. So let's go back down here, fast travel, and then we'll reset time in the morning. All right, so we reset time. It is now 6.30 in the morning in Balmont. So what we're going to do, we have three missions still. Uh, we finished both of those, so we've completed two. Uh, no, we did not finish both of those. We finished one. We still got one more track to find a black tail which should be fairly easy and then we got to harvest an animal down to 82 yards at a, from at least 82 yards away so that should be fairly easy too and three footprints from three black tail deer we should be able to do that one and then we got to ID three different bear tracks so we need one more black tail three black bear tracks and we need to down an animal at at least 82 yards which should be doable. So we set up our tree stand in hopes of drawing in a deer to finish this mission. Unbeknownst to us, this would not do the mission because we needed to be in a different area of the map anyway. But after sitting up there for a while, we did spot a level four moose that we might be able to get at a later date in a resting area and then spotted a whole herd of blacktail coming in on our location, which was very promising for us to have gotten the long shot that we thought we would be able to complete. Here goes. Okay, I lost track of where he went. Let's hope that that was a kill shot. That's with the 243 polymer tips. 
It's anybody's guess. I'm gonna give them a minute to before we completely like one run right down there. But that was definitely far enough for that mission for 82. We should get our another track here. I wonder if we scared the moose away that were over there. It would be nice if we didn't, because that level four moose. I think we did, but it's all right. Hopefully that was a kill shot. We're gonna get our other track anyway. Set blood? No, that is, oh yeah, that's decent. That's a decent amount of blood, non-vital organ hit. So we definitely dropped him. We're definitely gonna kill him. So, this should be a different black tail. Yep, there's that. Cash reward. We got that one done for tracking. Oh, yeah, this deer is definitely dead. Very low blood rate, but the first one was a non vital organ, so there's no way that he survives. It's just he probably got a little bit away. But this is where it benefits you to not, for those that are going to play. Don't run right in to your catch because a lot of times if you hold back, your animal's not going to run as far from where you shot it from, and you're not going to have to track it quite so far. I see tracks over there, but that might have been inbound tracks. Yeah, this is a run here. Looks like more blood up this way. That's why going down, finding the blood spot, not running full bore. Giving him some time, and I think he's down right up here, actually. Uh, nope, that might not have been what I saw. Okay, I'm not sure if that's inbound. Let's see, is this trot? Nope, this is run, so this is where we need to go. This is where it gets difficult when their tracks overlap pre previous one. But if you know you hit him, especially in the non-vital organ like what I got, then chances are you're going to have blood spots. This is a run, and chances are if you did shoot him, he's going to be running. They're at least trotting when he's going away. I'm surprised that we're still going after him. Very fresh, so yeah, there he is. And he is down, and I think that was a better one too. I don't know if we didn't, if we got him in a non-vital or organ, it's not going to be as good of a payout. But from that yardage, we did pretty good. Yeah, so we got him in flesh and intestines. Not a good hit if you're really looking to uh, eat the meat here. Um, but other than that, it gets our mission done. Decent buck. So let's do that. All right. So now we need bear tracks. So we're going to find where there's bear. What's well, white-tailed deer? It's jackrabbit. Do we have any need zones for bear here? Jackrabbits. Is this bear? Oh, it well, is. Well, look at that. Let's see if there are any additional signs of the black bears to support Hope's theory. Okay. Well, there was one black bear track. Is this another one? It would be magenta if it would if it was the same. No. Nope. What about these? All right, so we're just going to keep moving to Belmont Lake because I, the mission was travel to Belmont and harvest two deers. Well, Belmont Lake should still be in Belmont, so if we can kill two birds with one stone there, we're still going to try to do that. So let's get over there to Belmont Lake within the zone. Then we'll see if we can't call one in. I wish I'd grab my tree stand, but I didn't. I don't know if they'll reset into my inventory if I left the game, or if I have to remember which tree it's in to get it later. Because anything 82 or more. Oh, bear. Guess that settles yes. it. Yes. No wonder the black tail's on the run. Gotta give Hope some credit. His suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. Hey there, I think it's time I told you about Jonathan Trampfine. He heard of your dealings with black bears in Belmont, 
so he wanted to know if you might help him out as well. Tramp Fine loves black bears. He's been living out here on the reserve for many years, getting as close as he can to the bears and documenting them. A little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Last couple of days, he's been trying to get a picture of a group of black bears that just arrived this season. He's had no luck, though, and he wondered if you would take a swing at it. He'd pay you, so it might be worth your trouble. Ooh. What a spot right here. Oh, we got one right here coming in. We dropped it. I don't know if that was 82 yards away or not. That's the biggest question. But we did drop it with one shot. I think it was a heart shot. Nope, neck. Oh, I think we did. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't I don't really know. No, we didn't. Dang it. I didn't actually think to look at that either. So we need 82 yards or more still, but we did get that. We did carve two of the black tails, so that mission counted. Let's get out here to the edge of the lake. Alright guys, so I think that is going to do it for this episode. We did not get our last black tail that we needed. It's pretty simple to do, and I think we'll just be able to knock it out at the beginning of next episode. But basically we just have to kill a black tail from 82 point something, you know, or, or more. Which should be fairly easy to do. And all we need to do is get a 50 quick kill bonus on a male blacktail as well. So we might be able to do that both at the same time on our next episode. So thank you guys so much. As you can see I'm not. I'm trying not to give up. I'm hoping for a last minute like buck to appear out of nowhere. 80 meters or less and just drop it. So basically what we got to do is just kill a buck like we just did. And from 82 meters or more and we'll be good but there's not one in sight anywhere so it looks like we are just gonna have to end the episode without it dang it i really wanted to get it but that's okay thank you guys so much for joining me we will see you guys next time right here on APN gaming as we continue with this hunter call of the wild series leave a comment hit that like button Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest content, and we will see you guys next time.